let's talk about color, shall we? Let's talk about cheeks. Let's talk about being chic. It's the chic cheek palette by me, Scott Barnes. Okay. Part of the reason why I love this palette so much, and I'm going to give you some little stories about this, is when I launched my first cosmetic line back in 2004, I put together chic cheek palettes. They were three shades, and you can mix them together, work them separately, so on and so forth. I said, I want to come out with a new chic cheek palette, but I want it to be different. So here we go. As you see, I did the sleeve on this one with the crushed eyeshadow colors or blush colors, and it's a signature my signature collection chic chic again the sleeves here the scott barnes font is in pink just so when you're searching for it you know it's the blush oh how clever am i and it says chic, chic number one okay um open it up and one of the quotes from my one of my favorite movies is steel magnolias and she says my colors are blush and bashful so we love that a little bit of history in here in this palette so People sometimes say, what's going on? So I'm going to talk to you about color names first, and then we're going to talk about why, okay? So Minimalist, Mango Fizz, Strike a Rose, Strike a Pose, uh, Crush and Blush, Rose, Sweet Cheeks, and Glowy and Showy. Now what these are, these are amplifiers. They're actually blushes, but they're shimmer blush. These are all mattes. Blush should be buildable. When you build blush and you layer blush, it looks like skin. When you just slap a blush on, people are like, okay, it looks like blush. It looks heavy. It looks like it's sitting on top of the skin. I wanted to create something that actually came through and created depth. All right. Now, when you see the color mango fizz, everybody's like, okay, that looks like it literally looks like a mango. Why do you have orange blush in here? Well, let me explain to you. Um, and this was kind of a throwback to something that I did for a film. And it was my first film that I did, which was called Made in Manhattan um, with Jennifer Lopez. It was a great film. And you all love it. I love it, too. And the Cinderella scene where she's in this beautiful peach dress. And she comes and it's, you know, she's in the she's in the limousine and the window goes down. And you see that cheek. That cheek was everything, right? So what was that? It was Mango Fizz with Rose. It was these two color combinations together with this on top. So the three of these things work in tandem. These three work in tandem. These two work in tandem. Also with this and this and this. So you can work all of these together and you can also mix all of this together if you desire. So for me, this was a very convertible situation. And I feel like when you're... Say you have a dress and it's kind of bluish or you want to add a little bit of blue pink into your into your life. You're going to go in here. If you want the peaches, you're going to go in here. If you really need to get it, some peach on and get your peach on, you're going to go here. OK, so that's really there was some thought behind this. And that's the reason why it's in the center. You can work it this way or this way. Um, it's very exciting for me to be able to present this to you guys to look at blush in a different way. OK, again. It is the Chic Cheek Palette by Scott Barnes.